Smokes, 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 welcome to Schmaltz, uh, with me, Bradley G, and this is Connor Cavanna. Say hi, Connor Cavanna. Hello. <laughs> um, this is a podcast where we talk about whatever we want, pretty much. Um, no rules, is there? No, um, apparently schmaltz means nostalgia, so things to do with nostalgia that don't necessarily have to do with nostalgia. <laughs> to be fair, um, you should probably explain the name. Like, uh, it's it's like, it was nostalgia, then I'm, I believe chicken fat in Jewish, when I googled it earlier. This is actually a thing, I believe it means chicken fat in Jewish. Okay, <laughs> welcome to chicken fat in Jewish. Uh, <laughs> Your entertainment podcast. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to Schmaltz, is basically what I want to say. Yeah. Um, and what are we doing in this episode, Bradley? Uh, this episode, we're talking about Ice Age, one of the greatest, just greatest things ever made by human hands. Um, just a really brilliant, masterful piece of art. Um, just the whole of it, you know. Even even Ice Age, the what is it, the Great Escapade. Mwah. But just like a masterpiece. <laughs> the Great yeah. Escapade, is that one? Is that the <laughs> Christmas like that. one? <laughs> Great escapade or something. That's the worst. Oh, no, never mind. That is the worst uh, yeah. one, though. Jesus um, we're going to start off with Ice Age 1. We're working our way through, um, mm. just so you can you know, truly understand the minds of these great creators that, that brought this to our screens. Blue Sky. Blue Sky. Blue Sky. <laughs> <laughs> that um, well-known company. Um. <laughs> so we both, we both made notes whilst we were watching it. Connor's made slightly oh, Jesus. better notes. Might- no, I bet oh, no. is a paraphrase on this. Uh, I'm going to break down the story as fast as I can, and Bradley is going to interject with whatever he has to say. But I, my notes are really not great, having looked at them just before we've started to record. So this is going to be an interesting, mm-hmm. interesting <laughs> summary. I'm going to go as fast as I can, and Bradley is going to interject whenever, like, he feels really necessary because there's a lot to get through on Ice Age 1. I believe it's shorter for Ice Age 2, but Jesus Christ. And we're going to have a discussion at the end of each film about what we thought of it and moving on to the next one. And God knows how long this one's going to be, but it's our first episode. So it's going to be like fucking two hours and a bit probably at this point. But we're going to do each film back to back until five, as well as the two specials. So strap yourselves in if you want to listen to it. And if you don't, then... You know what? Fuck off. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> Just it's be more for, for an episode of us misremembering <laughs> Ice Age films. That's <laughs> a version of Ice Age. Uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. Right. Three, two, one. It opens with scrap. In the snow. It's like the start of Empire Strikes Back. The snow going, it's blizzard, mantle. Um, before and after something, secretion I've wrote down. Don't know why. <laughs> don't have a clue about secretion. But well, that's what it's wrote. So apparently he shits everywhere. This is what I remember. Yeah, um, I next, remember that scene. Um, he shits everywhere. He has excessive diarrhea, apparently. And then he cracks the ice with a nut. So he finds his nut. He has excessive diarrhea and cracks the ice. <laughs> um, it causes the ice age. Um, apparently there's a penis joke. Um, I broke down penis joke, question mark, to do with a trunk. Um, oh, is it Manny's trunk? It might be Manny's trunk. I don't know what he was is doing it? with his trunk to a penis a joke. But... Trunk. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Uh, next we've got moving uh, Manny and Flock so I believe his foot goes down and then the Ice Age symbol comes up Ice Age, enjoy Um, Sid um, gives Rhino pink eye with flower (laughs) something like (laughs) Sid eats a flower, I've got that so Sid eats a flower, I don't know why I didn't realize. Give some rhino pink eye. That's what I'm going to <laughs> yeah. And then uh, rhinos are mad because he eats the flower. So I'm guessing from that, <laughs> uh, then <laughs> I don't know what sin shits on their eyes or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I mean, they, they want the flower the back so bad. They want the flower back so bad that Sid just, <laughs> well, you can have it. <laughs> that must be it. Open. Scrat having excessive diarrhea, then it moves to Sid having excessive <laughs> I don't know what they've eaten, but it's those nuts. Um, <laughs> um, then, right, so Sid gives, apparently gives a rhino pink eye with a flower. Then it cuts to Manfred, a.k.a. Ray Romano. Um, 
And then Diego is played by Dennis Leary and John Lake Wazamo plays Sid. Um, apparently. Um, well, it, 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 they do. It's not apparently, but they do. Um, and I don't <laughs> know why I've got that wrote down. I felt like I was going to be really professional with my movie podcast. I was going to be like, <laughs> this plays this person. But everyone knows that, surely, after like 20 years or whatever the fuck. <laughs> these films I mean, they're like obviously, that. you know, the most famous voice actors of all time. Exactly. This is the greatest. Uh, <laughs> Ray Romano. I mean, he's been in everything, hasn't he? <laughs> and then we've got Antichrist, question mark, and the camp and tigers. So, do the tigers try to mm. attack the camp after Sid and Manny meet? Yes, yeah, so we've got we've got Manny defends Sid from the from the rhinos, um, just because he's big, <laughs> um, and rhinos apparently aren't better than mammoths, apparently. Mm. Apparently, yeah. I feel like rhinos could easily charge at a mammoth and just take and it just down. Just impale but... guts yeah, exactly, everywhere. Yeah, he does these two rhinos as well. But um, never mind. Cut to the <laughs> cut to I the mean, human. You could do camp. like a sandwich with a fucking mammoth in the middle. Just yeah, exactly. Yeah, back. there's so many ways that two rhinos could kill a mammoth. I just you know, <laughs> fill a podcast with that. <laughs> right. Well, if you say so, Bradley, give us ten ways. <laughs> <laughs> First is pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Second is diarrhea. Um, <laughs> uh, right, next we've got the Antichrist on the Camp of Tigers. Demon baby. Worst Demon thing. baby. Fucking worst creation in film. Oh, Do you notice that they don't put him in the sequels, though? They don't put him in the sequels for a reason. Because he's... <laughs> He's ter- Do you think he causes the meteor strike in the... Oh, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, okay. So the next scene we have is... Is abuse funny? With a squirrel, apparently. So I think something happens with Scrat that he's being beaten up, but I don't know why that's funny for I mean, it's slapstick comedy but i think it's to an ex- excessive degree because like with scrat it gets so much worse like he gets really fucked up like he should be dead like yeah, it's it's just, this, level. this whole film is like a pain fetish just, <laughs> <laughs> just every scene is someone getting injured which i'll explain in a minute because i remember a very vivid scene to do mm. with a melon um, but right, the next thing we have a waterfall situation where the mother and like the father fight the saber tooth tigers trying to kill the baby. I still don't know why they're trying to kill the baby. Do you have a clue, Brad, at all? Because uh, he looks so eatable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at you know his chubby cheeks. He's just got it's like a so burrito. Much, yeah, the he's so much, so much, so much goodness on him. You know, I just want to. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know the the men out there, they're all. They've been hunted and stuff. They're, no one wants to eat them. They're, they're all thin and lanky. Whereas the kid... <laughs> the kid's little chubby little yeah, chip. Yeah, chub. Yeah, chub. <laughs> Pure chub. Um, right, so next we have... We've got the... So the mother jumps off the waterfall. Diego's like, don't jump. I want the baby. I don't fucking know what he says. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Is it in there? Can you come back in a bit? What would you rate Ice Age 1? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Too young. All right, okay. Too young. These, these oh, kids God. nowadays. <laughs> no, literally, you should embrace this, our podcast listeners of four people. <laughs> Um, you should embrace the mm. fact that we will have many interruptions because yeah. we're in lockdown. We're living with our families and it's going to real, you know, we've got people coming in and out. It's going real mental. Um, I but the families that I was doing a podcast, you'd just laugh. So <laughs> I'll just <laughs> let them come in. And <laughs> they're, really, they're really embracing the artistic mm. nature of Bradley G. Um, yeah, they just want to see. <laughs> they want to witness this beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll send them it when it's done. Uh, anyway, <laughs> little little uh, segue. Okay, next we have um, waterfall climb. So after the mother jumps off, she goes down the river. Manny yeah. and Sid discover the baby. They take the baby off her because she's like, take the bubble. Yep. Yeah. Um, and she disappears, doesn't she? Yeah. Completely. <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, you're you're a mum. You care about your child. 
So you're getting attacked by tigers. You're like, oh my god, I'd do anything to save my child. I'll jump off this waterfall, of course, you know, because <laughs> you do anything to save your kid. And he gets to the bottom of this waterfall, and there's this huge mammoth with tusks and <laughs> about ten times the size of you. And you think, actually, this is the point when I'm going to quit. So you give your baby to the mammoth, and then you just vanish. Just go downstream. <laughs> that's it. You don't Maybe. need. <laughs> no, we never thought about this, right? She she looks like she's giving it like save the baby, but what if she's going? Here's the baby um, as a distraction so she can escape from the giant fucking mammoth that might kill her. <laughs> Why is she doing that? She's like, fuck this baby. I'm off. Yeah. Um, she's like, already I've already jumped today. off the waterfall. I'm good now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going <laughs> heaven like, already. There's a fucking mammoth now. There's a sloth <laughs> behind it. Uh, okay. um, right. Next, we've got the waterfall climb. So apparently, Die- uh, not Diego, um, apparently Sid and Manny and the baby tried to climb a waterfall, is what I've got wrote down. Not necessarily the baby climbing the waterfall. I think that's a bit, you know, you like <laughs> a bit early for that. But... <laughs> to, like, pull him up with, like, a rope or something, don't they? And then he, like, slips out the... <laughs> just like Indiana Jones, just like... <laughs> yeah, he slips... <laughs> he, slips out... he slips out of, like, the fucking, you know, tortilla. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Um, and then... His little rap. Yeah. And then we see him in his like massive glory his little chubby buddy like he's there we see his hair don't we finally because that's been hidden too it's kind of isn't it like <laughs> oh, mine it's like yours yeah yeah he's got <laughs> here you go so this like... is the baby hair it's parting <laughs> down the middle um, it's a lockdown it. haircut um, are you the second coming <laughs> i am baby this is a sequel to <laughs> i say five you, you don't want to know what i've wrote next i put poo sid Wow. Well, I've wrote oh, poo all the time. Just, 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 yeah. In my head, there's a shit everywhere. It's all filmy. Um, That's it. All right, anyway. God, it's not that mix. But... <laughs> from that, we get to a dodo melon scene. From yeah, that, Ninja somehow. Dodo. Oh, Ninja Dodo. Great. Probably the greatest yeah. part of the film for me. It's like an American football scene, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, it that, yeah. The old jump pal, like, oh, defending a melon that they want to feed the baby or something. And then... Yeah, and then Sid runs with the melon or the baby, I can't remember, runs with something. Runs with the melon to the baby, but when he gets to the baby, like, smashes the melon so he can't eat the fucking melon. He goes like this, he goes... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he does touchdown, doesn't he? He does a touchdown. (laughs) The melon in Yeah. He just fucking explodes, and then the baby, like, eats it off the floor and gets all the bacteria in his mouth from all the fucking (laughs) dodo shit. Um, Right, okay. Next we have... Um, martial arts dodos, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, the dodos commit suicide off a cliff. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, Bradley's rough. theory is a pet fetish, yeah. Yep. I mean, the whole uh, thing is just jump into each other, you know, bumping heads, just jumping over. They're not even going for Sid, they're just colliding. And then at the end, they just jump off a cliff. Because why not? I actually can't remember if there was, there was oh, probably a reason, but... <laughs> I think I know why. It's because they're in the Ice Age 1, and they just really want to be in Shrek. Yeah. So they jump off. Uh, um, American football scene, blah blah blah. Oh right, okay. Next we have after that they feed the baby, they carry on walking for a bit. I believe they get to a camp, they go to sleep. Um, in the night, I believe the baby is sleeping with Manny, and Diego tries to kill the baby. He, I put suffocate or claw him to death. Nighttime scene with Diego trying to kill baby. If only he'd won. <laughs> this, the world would be, this world would be free of evil <laughs> <laughs> I mean literally <laughs> a real bad guy of this film I mean if you think about it um, <laughs> right. then we've got in the morning they all wake up that obviously Diego fails they all wake up in the morning there's a sexy sloth brothel with the, the babies there um, Sid tries to seduce the two sloths with the baby for some reason I'm not entirely sure why that's in the film. But it's there, and we never see these slots again. So it's a plot point there. Um, But don't worry. In five films' time, cheeky nod. (laughs) Um, Okay. Um, Next, Rhino. Oh, right, yeah, so he does that scene. And then the rhinos turn up from before that he he defecated all over, Um, apparently, according to my notes. Uh, The rhinos. (laughs) Uh, then they want to kill Sid again. Um, uh, Manny takes the baby. Sid um, 
takes death to rhinos with Diego. Oh, um, they try. I think they try to attack Sid, but like Diego turns up or something, and they shit themselves. It's a saber tooth tiger. Maybe this is me guessing. From the- <laughs> like this is five I weeks. You don't remember. Um, it's been five <laughs> weeks. Forgive us. <laughs> so you don't forgive us. This is more entertaining. Um, <laughs> next, you've got the Matilda song, which is. Yeah. Really I want a full way. rendition. On your way. On your way. Happy back to you. Oh, you're There you go. Beautiful Perfect. song. Brilliant song. Uh, brilliant. I think that's a better rendition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a travel song. They travel a bit further, apparently. And then it cuts to Scrat along this way. Um, Scrat um, tries to warn them about Diego, apparently, at some point. Um, and Diego, like, punches him off a cliff. He goes like, Poof. I feel like I just blanked. I might have fell asleep at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're Is almost there. Means... We're almost there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go walking faster. for like okay. half a film. <laughs> okay, speed run. Let's do this if I can do my okay. time. Sid um, makes kids joke about necks with icicles. So, oh, he pretends to like um, butt himself with an icicle, doesn't he? he? Gets he gets one half of an icicle, another half of an icicle, and then he puts it on both of his things like ah. Uh, and he's like, oh, I'm joking. It's like two halves of an icicle. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I, I swear it happened. I swear it happened. Just, yeah. What? He's there. 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 He's that they're in to like cave in so they're trapped inside um don't they see like loads of like drawings on the wall of like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like yeah, <laughs> yeah they, it's like those, wrote those, that down. <laughs> those cave drawings <laughs> that they had um and yeah manny has a bit of a drug trip apparently um <laughs> and just sees loads of people attacking mammoths and then he's like ooh. that's about it he just moves on i think <laughs> why i don't know i don't he's know he's like Ooh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, is it meant to be like a moral dilemma? Like, should I kill the baby or something? I don't know what they're trying to... <laughs> and then he... That is, that is he... the question of this movie. Is, is that it what they're trying like... to push? <laughs> I genuinely believe the end of this movie was at like the end of The Omen, where like he takes it to the altar and like he's trying to stab it and then he, mm. he hesitates and then like they get, he gets shot and then like the baby lives on and he becomes the omen who's like the devil have you never seen this movie you've not you're looking at me I don't have a clue like, <laughs> this is a classic um, yeah the omen um, 666 back of the head but yeah terrifying I imagine you know he's got the antichrist too so exactly welcome it's, to, uh, it's probably inspired one of them I don't know which one came earlier I haven't watched the omen <laughs> when we do episode 2 um, we're going to do the omen uh, I'm joking I'm joking uh, <laughs> The true sequel to I uh, The true sequel to <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Okay. Right, so they go down like a water slide. It's like a water slide sequence. Yeah. Of... Oh, yeah, that started. Yeah, this is the reason I hate, I just hate the baby. This is the reason I call him the Antichrist and Demon Child. And just because he, he's just walking, and then he just jumps on this ice slide. It's like, why? Oh, it just causes everything. All the pain in this film comes from this baby. Like he's the reason that they had to fight these dodos. He laughs every time they, they you know, they get injured. Like he, he squeezes his nose at pumps. No, what? I think you missed something there. <laughs> Not the reason that he has to fight the dodos. The reason why he massacres the entire dodo race. I swear to God, for the rest of the you don't see any dodos. So all he wants is genocide. <laughs> I don't trust him for it. <laughs> yeah, they jump on an ice slide, do a weird little water slide sequence thing. Technically, it's like Stalin. He's like a young Stalin. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave that with you. That's the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got um, water path lanes. Um, Scrat loses nut on the slide, so Scrat's there apparently for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen like that Scrat fucking wanks on a slide? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> It's a very different I'm, film. I think this is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm think, so lost. None of these notes make any sense. <laughs> I think after I think after this movie, you watched a very different porn film to do with Ice Age. <laughs> um, okay. Next is um, 
mammoth moving pictures apparently now. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, that was, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was the drug scene. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next we've got Mum's necklace apparently. Cool. Is that good? Does the baby have a necklace? Maybe the baby wears a necklace. I don't know. I don't know. Really yeah, the ice <laughs> explodes. Oh yeah, I've got ice explodes. There we go. I'm aware of now. Cool. Right, okay. The baby is um the one ring. Oh, from I am um, Lord of the Rings. They're trying to get it to a destination. Should they chuck oh, it in the okay. fire? Oh, right. I don't know why I wrote it down. Um, I mean, I don't think there was a scene where they're like at the edge of the, the lava and they're just fighting over this baby. <laughs> this little ice like, baby just like... Wretches! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just like, no, I need this baby to get the sloth chicks. <laughs> uh, the next one is um, Sabretooth Tiger Ambush as Diego destroys... Them. Oh wait, no, I've got I've got extra notes here. I've actually written more. I've got Sid oh, makes fight with Chuck. Cool. Okay, this <laughs> I don't think that's week. how it works. Uh, yeah. Antichrist walks. First steps. That was nice. I've, I've, I've not wrote any of this shit. Thought, so. I've got Antichrist yeah. walks. So until the, the, the de- saber tooth tiger ambush, just go. The under. demon can finally move about and bring torment upon the whole of the world now that his legs work. <laughs> um, Scrat roast nut into a popcorn. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, he had a little nut on a stick and then he roasted it and it turned into a popcorn. And I was just like, come on, Ice Age, you're better than this. <laughs> That's right, not so how popcorn works. <laughs> the, plot of, the plot of this movie, you don't remember, but Scrap <laughs> Sack, then fucking nut. popcorn is like a fucking vivid memory. I mean, it's important stuff, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and then I've got Ambush, but Sid has skis. So now we're into yeah, the that's what I'm, Tiger Ambush. So we've got the same two Tiger Ambush. Um, they're about to kill Sid with, like, they think it's the baby, but it not it, like, full of rocks or something? Yeah, um, oh, yeah, they planned ahead, yeah. yeah. He, like, has skis and he escapes. Um, Diego confronts Brethren. Um, holy shit. Oh. Um, <laughs> bad guy death. Multiple icicles. Oh, yeah, bad guy gets mass impalement. That's what I holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was it, weren't it? It was, it was some horror thing like, like they push it with something and then the ice fall like these icicles on like, the roof okay, like, before he does it yeah <laughs> i mean they don't show it but if it was something you know like a an action film or something he'd literally just be like <laughs> you know, all the eyes like <laughs> all over yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah and then they, they just carry on <laughs> um i've then put unhappy ending everyone dies i don't know why i wrote that yeah i put that why did you put that? I put uh, Diego dies, and then I put um, sad face ending. Everyone dies, so demon can live. <laughs> like, why, why, why have you wrote that? Why What's it got to do with anything? I don't oh, know. I can't remember. It's not even another page. That's, that's it. <laughs> At the end of the thought, movie, I've got a page, yeah? yeah? I thought they'd be a bit but, like, okay. maybe they jumped off a cliff to try and save the baby or something, but no, they just die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, no, oh, wait, Diego is under the icicles too, isn't he, when the guy gets impaled? So I think he almost dies. And then, because I put the next note is, Diego emerges like Christ himself. Okay. <laughs> as Antichrist disappears with Dad. Yeah. Oh, wait, they, the give, they give the baby to the, yeah, the father, to the, town. Uh, to the town, and then Diego, who we think's dead, having killed the bad guy, emerges after that, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Think. <laughs> I think. I remember. That's I remember why like, was dead. Yeah, there was like okay. a, one of those classic shots where it's just shadows. Yeah. Which I think they've done in literally every Ice Age film. Yeah. <laughs> so, in so Ice Age 5, the batshit yeah. crazy one. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Manny has my hair. Oh, yes. Um, Manny is Great. rocking yeah. my head. Uh, we just realized it at this point, apparently. Um, <laughs> uh, the next thing. Oh, right. Okay, post credit scene. So that's the end of the film. They've given the yeah. baby. post credit scene is the actually the end of the Ice Age franchise, as we've worked mm-hmm. out over the course of five movies. It's so it's like... It's like 20,000 years later, and Scrat like, gets washed up on a beach and in an ice storm. Yeah, it's like 20,000 years later, and Scrap like, gets washed up on a beach and in an ice, icicle thing, and like defrosts, and yeah. then like the nut washes away. But like in the background, isn't there like a fucking umbrella or something so we know it's present day i think it's like an actual beach i swear I if i remember correctly <laughs> i remember there was you know, a like, beach 
No, you know well one of those it. umbrellas. You know one of those umbrellas that you put up on the beach where it's like all got white lines oh, like on it. Parasol. Yeah, I believe that's in the background. So that's why right, I put okay. most. Because yeah. like you can't have that in fucking the yeah. bronze era. You know what I mean? Like yeah. is that before? <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, is bronze era, ice era? I don't fucking know. Um, and then uh, Nook gets washed away. Scrap causes eruption. Yellowstone. I put Yellowstone National Park eruption. What? What? Are you in Ice Age too? And that's the end of the film, apparently, for Ice Age 1. <laughs> creates Yellowstone National Park, apparently. I don't know what I was doing. I, I feel like I've missed half the film. Maybe I did fall asleep. <laughs> so our yeah. final rating star for you, I believe, yeah. is a... a four, I think. I've, 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 the... Yeah, it was just... I mean, we've put a lot of jokey stuff and notes and stuff, but the film itself, it was just... I don't know, it was just a lot of walking. And nothing really happened. Like the, you know, there was like there was kind of funny ninja dodos. That was kind of funny. Mm. And then the rest was just them looking after a baby that I don't like. <laughs> it's just like nothing really happened. The, the animation I'm guessing was probably good for the day, but it, I, you know, Toy Story came out before it probably, so, <laughs> so it's not doing all special. I just yeah, I don't know. I'd put it slightly below average. Oh, one before i'm pretty sure isn't toy story like the first proper 3d animation i think so yeah exactly so and yeah toy story does look slightly older but that makes sense so this one just looks a bit boring as well yeah. just yeah it was just them walking and doing stuff on the way and i just but the animation really... like i remember being better but it was not that good was it like there was a lot of play yeah. i was saying to you about looking the background and all the background yeah, no was... during I mean, you know, like you say, because it, cause it is the oldest one, that, I guess yeah. that kind of makes sense, but it was that's that's part of it. It was just, <laughs> it just looked a bit boring. Everything was white. <laughs> Didn't have anything. <laughs> um, no, like, literally for me, I remember it being so much better than it was. I remember it being, like, my favourite one out of yeah. all of them. And in hindsight, it wasn't that good. I think Ice Age, well, I think one of the other Ice Ages, if not two of the other Ice Ages, are better. Um, but I gave it a 5 out of 10, personally. So I gave it a bit more than Bradley. I gave it a bit more credit. It's the start of a franchise. It wasn't as bad as um, some of the other entries, um, but um, still not a great rating for both of us. I think the first one was... a. I think we were re regretting our choice to do the Ice <laughs> Age already. Already. Point. And we already yeah. have, like, 10 hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> so see you at the next film which we will resume promptly hello right okay so we're uh, moving into ice age 2 um bradley's gonna give the synopsis on this one because apparently okay. when we were pissed and we watched this <laughs> i wrote 18 fucking pages <laughs> on ice age 2 and i'm not gonna <laughs> take you through those i'm not gonna do that to you so Bradley's going to give the synopsis. Ice Age yeah. is a literary classic. There's just so much to take from it, you know. That's why I wrote three quarters of a page. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote... Eighteen pages! <laughs> it's all, like... It doesn't make sense. It's a load of shit. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm going to go through my really random notes. And Connor is going <laughs> to put in with his really detailed scene by scene, line by line probably. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be I'd be surprised if the script was longer than 18 pages. <laughs> I wrote Ice Age 2 um, <laughs> The Meltdown, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, okay uh, no, yeah. um, oh my god, Brad. This is ridiculous. It's all, like, look what my handwriting turns into when we get to a certain point. Oh, just right. sort of... Is that why it's 18 pages? Because he just wrote scrat in really big letters yeah. and each page is on big. On, on <laughs> page, I wrote slotus. What does that mean? <laughs> and um, bird nest. And that's all I wrote on a page. <laughs> anyway. Okay, yeah, maybe you had a bit too much to drink that night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Okay, yeah. Um, Ice Age 2, of course, starts with a scrat. I mean, why wouldn't it? We all start with yeah, scrat. Um, in pain again, because they just like bullying my, my boy Scrat. It's just horrible, horrible. Um, so yeah, um, Scrat is doing... Oh, I think he's climbing a wall. I feel like I remember that. He's like climbing up a wall or something with a nut, and he like... He does, he's, like... <laughs> Actually, yeah, this isn't even in my notes. I just feel like I remember this. 
Because to be fair, actually, Ice Age 2 is one that I used to watch loads as a kid. I can't, because yeah. we're <laughs> so, otherwise. So even though I might not remember it properly, I have these little bits that just pop up in my head, like, oh, I remember that bit. And I think I remember Scrat climbing a wall with his nut. <laughs> <laughs> His, that could his... be interpreted as multiple different things. I was going to clear that up with his little brown note, but that... <laughs> <laughs> the note that... I don't know. Okay, don't you know what I mean. <laughs> you know how you know who Scrat is. Scrat is cl- trying to climb an ice wall. Out. You are. He whips his nuts out in every scene. Yeah, before. every every single scene. He's... <laughs> um, so yeah, he's trying to climb an ice wall with a nut, I think. And he... It's something like the the wall explodes with water. So there's like these holes popping out. So he's trying to plug the holes with different parts of his body and the nut. So he's like he's like stretching out all like that and then there's one in front of his face. So he sticks his mouth in it and then his head like goes and his head tries to explode. And then the water comes out and Does that... his head explode? <laughs> Uh, hopefully not, because Scrat... Because you have a theory after these movies, like, it's a different <laughs> yeah. Scrat every movie, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's not, you know, we, we want to paint the full picture, so I'll I'll talk about my uh, my incredible theory at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to truly understand where I'm coming from. Um, so, yeah, Scrat is trying to plug these holes, and then he can't, because there's so much water burst out of these holes. And then Scrat absolutely flattened on the ice slide. Apparently, Scrat goes on an ice Oh, no, he gets crushed by, like, one of those babies. They're, like, um, the baby animal. Like, they're all playing in, like, a play area with the water. Oh, okay, that's yeah. Different. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so uh, Scrat's filling in these holes. from memory, too. I think, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't we? This is better than the first one already. <laughs> I mean, this um, is my favourite one, I think, by the way. Um, spoilers. Yes. <laughs> Him not plugging the holes causes, like, a big crack in his ice. Um, so, yeah, he gets squished by kids on a water slide. Um... I've also put way better animation because there is that step up that you notice. It's and the like, fur, the yeah, fur. exactly the fur. <laughs> the fur. <laughs> the fur. Um, the yeah. Fur. <laughs> uh, from the first one where everything's like a solid object to <laughs> to <laughs> this one where everything looks nice. You've got kids playing in the background. There's different things going on. You can, you know, you can look in the background. There's actually stuff there. There's, you know. And, if we yeah. were going to be a tagline on the back of a DVD, it'd be the fur. You can actually feel it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> Schmaltz production. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so way better animation. Um, <laughs> let's put cruelty in a whole new definition. Because <laughs> obviously, Ice Age, there's lots of pain. There's lots, every, the only funny thing about Ice Age is just all the pain and torture that all the characters go through. <laughs> um, so all the cruelty is in high def. Um, oh, Manny's a dick. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe I was a bit drunk for this. Children rub in in Manny's loneliness. <laughs> what? Oh no, I get it. You, not, what? <laughs> not children rubbing. Not children rubbing Manny's loneliness. Children <laughs> rubbing Manny's loneliness. What so Manny is lonely, oh and then these so kids lonely, come up, yeah, <laughs> and then they're like, right. "Oh, you're the only mammoth we've ever seen." So you don't you, rub his. You don't rub in his loneliness. Okay. All right. <laughs> This is given, just, like, given all... what this movie's about, about the love interest, that would have made sense if the kids were rubbing him. <laughs> and then he was like, I need to find another one. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need one of age. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, oh, right, yeah. what you need to realise is, but I'm going to interject real quick, this is my interjection. Um, what you need to realise with the Ice Age movies, um, there is a lot of paedophilia, I feel, throughout these all these movies. Yeah. With Sid, mainly... <laughs> Yeah, what we notice from being older is that there's just a lot of things that could easily be taken in dodgy ways. As you can see by literally all of my notes for all of the films, which all have innuendos and stuff in. Um, <laughs> and a lot of them aren't even innuendos, they're just straight dirty. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> well, at least with the start Sorry. of this one, there's less secretion. Um, yeah, that's the last one. Not explosive yeah. diarrhea, which uh, <laughs> for me is a plus because... Yeah. <laughs> no Extra points that. already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, uh, then we got uh, capital letters. I was born in this hole. I'm going to die in this hole. I think uh, I think that's... Uh, yeah, so I think the ice starts exploding somewhere. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. No, Manny and Sid go to the top of the big water slide, the death slide, and then they see that everything's cracking and there's loads of water and it's like a big dam. So they go down the slide. I 
can't remember why, but they go down because it's fun. Um, and yeah, they tell everyone, you know, we're going to drown. You need to get out of here. Um, and then someone, <laughs> I can't remember who, um, someone who lives in a hole, I'm guessing, goes, <laughs> I was born in this hole, I'm going to die in this hole. Um, and I just remember that from being a kid because that was funny. Uh, oh, and these little, um, what are they called? Um, those beetles, those poo beetles, what are they called? I put Sid fancies another sloth. Do you remember that? I don't remember there being another sloth, no. I thought that was three. <laughs> um, Wait, I put, how do they know about dinosaurs? Am I, am I doing the right one yeah, here? <laughs> the third one. That's the, that's the third film, Connor. Um, no, you, I put... I, you were really I, drunk. Will, I put Will Arnett is a vulture, right? Yeah, no, that's two. Yeah, that's... What? I think I put a mixture <laughs> of notes here. Uh, yeah. God. Okay, well, yeah, Just maybe it's a good job. I, maybe it's a good job I was going through because we yeah. have a mix of the next four films in one. <laughs> I've got okay. the next one is Meteor Strike. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there's loads of animals moving out. Um, someone wants to die in a hole. Um, <laughs> um, there's a little poo beetle that I can't remember the name of, um, but the, that's the house, and they make a joke about the house, and it's actually quite funny. Like they're rolling the the poo ball um, with them. Um, that was quite nice. Oh yeah, the fish killed Lou. The bastards, I put the bastards. Those, because there's those demon fish and there's those evil ones that come out of the ice. Underneath the ice. Yeah, and um, there's Lou who's left left behind because he, I don't know, and he has that. Oh, he has that little um straw, that nostril straw thing to breathe underwater. You remember that? Has, I remember this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has a little straw nostril thing, and he breathes through his nose to swim underwater. He's like, <laughs> oh yeah, and it, so he scares some kids away because he's swimming under the water. Um, so the kids all run away, and then he's like, hey, 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 and he comes up with his little nostril straw, and then one of the one of the fishes, the evil fishes, eats him, and I'm just like, he was really nice. He, he, he meant well. Why did he just kill him straight away? This is way better than the first one because they've got death in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they had death in the last one, but uh, not, not extreme sure. icicle death yeah. in the finale. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. People we actually like in this one. Um, <laughs> Rat has trouble with ice. That really doesn't narrow it down. That's like every film. Um, actual jokes, I thought. Um, so I, I must have been okay. finding this one funny. Stay. Actually, yeah, this is. I think this this bit sounds just like my review. Scrat has uh, actual jokes, stakes, things happening. <laughs> are all notes <laughs> that I put in this one because I was just so bored in the first one. Um, that those are actual points that I put. Um, pole vaulting, Scrat, top notch scene. I remember that, and I remember really enjoying it. Do you have any better notes on that? Right, where did we get up to? We got up to the ice. Um, yeah, so... Right, um, I've got turtle um, killed by dragons. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the fifth um, thing, yeah. I've got yeah. cut to scrap after ice, under ice, yep. suck with nose through ice. Um, he suffocates, apparently. Oh, maybe... Oh, maybe I'm getting confused. Maybe that's the water bit I was thinking of. Anyway, Scrat, so Scrat anyway. causes the, the, the whole crash at the start and nulls the water a bit. Then what does he do? <laughs> um, Sean William Scott is introduced as... Oh, he's Stifler from the American Pie movies. as well. Oh, right. But the, um... He plays Crash, and then Josh Peck plays Eddie. Yeah. And they turn up, apparently, at this point. And then Ellie's revealed, who is Queen Latifah. The yeah. Queen. Um, I've got a little Venn diagram here, actually, with a. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Because we were trying to we were trying to figure out which possum is which actor, because it was really hard. So I've drawn a little Venn diagram saying <laughs> blue Stifler, brown Josh. Is that we the were eyes? looking at the eyes? Yeah, we were looking at the eyes. That's the only difference. And then I've got a little Venn diagram because they actually do just sound the same, so they kind of cross over anyway. But I think blue eyed blue eyed. Uh, Possum is Stifler and Brown is Josh. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, what's what's after that? <laughs> do, do, you, do you have a bit on on scrap pole vaulting? No. You know, yeah. I, I I remember saying that was really. I remember it being really fun. Can you explain the scene? No, because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, I'm just going to well, move yeah, on. No, I can. I can okay, go on. Go, go, go. Just look forward a bit, because I think this is a bit... I think I've skipped a bit, actually. I don't right, think okay, I was... right. So, yeah. who, right, who is who, we were saying. That's what you were just saying. Um, uh, Paul Vaulting Scrap! There yeah, you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, son. The best scene of this film. Actually, he's oh, that... over a ledge. He goes oh, to he's... beg a... 
Yeah. That's easy to say this is the best scene. The first one was easily the Dodos, but this one has a few good ones. So it's Paul Vart in Scrat. Then I've got um, Piranha's eating nuts. So Scrat's got his nut, I think. Um, and then stop, stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> he throws a nut in you, end of Um So Scrat's, Scrat's got his nut. nut. He's yeah. nuts. He pole vaults something, which is actually yeah. pretty cool. Um, then there's piranhas. So the piranhas want to eat the nut. <laughs> so the piranhas want Can to I eat the nut. Can I ask why? Because <laughs> uh, everything Aren't they like nut, carnivores? I think they just want different things to attack Scrat through the film, so they just get every different type of animal there is to attack him. Um, are they know. after Scrat or are they after the nut? I think they're after the nut, I think. Okay. Piranhas, yeah, piranha. Oh, it, it, I mean, it says piranhas eat nuts, so the piranha must have eaten the nuts. Then Scrat, that was it. So Scrat goes like, and then he, he turns into like a what does he go like? Master. <laughs> 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 he, he, he goes dead eyed, like, you took my nut, yeah. I'm going for that. So Scrat turns into a kung fu master and just starts <laughs> taking out all the piranhas. Is that what he learned from the um, lovely the dodos? The dodos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there is a, you know, procession. Of... It's like fucking Kill Bill. He goes up to a mountain and learns from, like... Oh, I didn't realise this. You're right, there's actually character arcs in these films. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where did that come from? <laughs> um, yeah, so Scrat Kung Fu is all of them. Um, that scene was actually quite funny. I enjoyed that. Um, then I've got Vulture Takes Nut. Um, I've got Manny Tries to... I don't even know what that says. Tries to court Ellie. Yeah, so I think that's... Yeah, so I've got Vulture takes nut, I think. So Scrat gets the nut from the piranhas. I think he actually pulls it out of piranha's mouth. Anyway, I, I just love that scene. <laughs> There's just so much going on there. Um, Jesus, yeah. he, you're nutting over that yeah, scene, he, mate. He pulls, the, he pulls the nut out, and then the, the vulture comes along and takes the nut into his nest. Um, so that, you know, that's for later when we next mention Scrat. Um, and then I've got cute Ellie is sad. I don't know why I would put... Well, it, apparently I've got Manny tries to court Ellie, so does he try to court her when she's, like, depressed? So that's pretty fucked up. Maybe that's it, yeah, maybe she's sad or something. He's there, like, maybe. do you want a bang? Um, it's only like we watched the film. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we watched it, but I can yeah. tell we were both wanked at this point. This <laughs> is, uh, um, right, OK. What do you, what uh, do you have next, then? Cause I've... Walking across ice, sea dragons. Diego scratches... Oh, wait, no, oh, no uh, Diego is scared of water. Okay, I think this is a point you should come in because. Uh, okay, Diego. I've, I've, I've got two water. lines. I've got two lines, and then it cuts to the climax of the film. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> quick. Jokes, right, okay. and then I think you should. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. okay. Di- right, Diego's scared of water. Sid, um, Sid helps Diego not drown. They sort of team up. They get a yeah. bit more of a friendship. Manny um, fights the dragon. Um, doesn't kill the dragon, but like chucks it with his yeah. tusk, doesn't he? Um, then <laughs> Scrap, um, Scrap fights Piranha Ninja. That's what you said before. So that was interjection. Oh, okay, yeah. It's all part of the same scene. Right. Yeah. Um, gospel music, I've put. Gospel music. I don't know why. Apparently, there's gospel, <laughs> Apparently there's gospel music. music. Domino. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe that's it. Actually, maybe when he was doing the ninja stuff, it was a uh, really dark, you know, like. Du- Duel of the Fates, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, flashback um, to baby Ellie. Um, oh, she's yeah. abandoned by mum. Um, and uh, the mum possum and the small possum brothers discover her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Um, Ellie uh, tried to... Um, tried to, I don't know... Ellie tried to fuck a possum, I put. I put that as well. I put Ellie tried to get off with the possum boys. I don't know why. But she's bigger, so she can't. Okay. Yep. Go with it. I don't know what to say <laughs> about that. Seen it all, but uh, <laughs> we both got it, so it must be true. <laughs> right, so Ellie tries to fuck a possum as a yep. whole uh, sequence. Um, <laughs> Not really that carries um, on. Romantic it. scene with Manny and Ellie. Cool. Um... <laughs> um, put Scrat in a bird's nest with a vulture. Yeah, that's so that's the vulture thing that we're on about, where he's trying to get, and then there's a baby vulture in there, and then he's trying to yeah. 
the note and the baby vulture wants it and then the big daddy vulture comes or something and and <laughs> there's a lot of vultures and then scrap falls out the nest i think or something like that okay all right. all right next we've got weaving weaving storylines together diego and sid scene slotus i put what does slotus mean <laughs> Right, everyone's in the mist. <laughs> yeah, just keep going. Um, yeah. Everyone's in the mist. Balancing rock scene. Oh, it's where that rock's in the middle and there's yeah. like... Oh, yeah, and they're spinning around, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they have to jump yeah. over and then Ellie being the selfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie jumps over and then Manny and... I think it's like Manny and uh, Diego have to like hold trunk clothes or something to pull together, something like that. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, I've, I've got... I rem- oh, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> um, so I've got plot device to force mammoths to fudge. And that plot device is that, because the thing's spinning around. Ellie's got a cross. So then Ellie and um, Manny, like, yeah. connect trunks to hold the rocks together. Ooh. And then and then they run across. And then it's like, and then it's like wow, we did that together. You could say they touch tips. Um, the next <laughs> scene is... Um... Uh, plot device, mammoth, tuff- oh wait, mammoth trunk scene, okay. Yeah. Um, how did they know how to make campfire? Oh yeah, they make a campfire in the next scene. That's not like every I say film. Sid is abducted by sloths. Yes. Oh. The Those little oh. baby sloths. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, fire king, they think he's the fire <laughs> king. Um... Yeah, it's like a weird. Tried to kill Sid, but rope saves him. Oh, is the yeah, rope too yeah. short? Yeah, so it's um, they're like a sloth cult or something. Um, they all they all come along and then you what get. What is this? The Wicker Man. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> this, this at all. This is, the, this is the bit that I. This is I think actually this is my favorite scene just because I remember the like the this song. Is my um, the, <laughs> it's just a good film. I I enjoyed this one way more than the first one. Um, yeah, so he gets carried in on like a um, like a, a plank of wood or something, and then they're like, "You're the Fire King," and then they like they all pray him to him or something, and then they do this cool song that's like, "Bing bong, bing bing bong, bing bing bong," <laughs> and then I, I, <laughs> yeah, it's a good song. And then there's this big monument to him, and then because he's the Fire King, apparently he has to get pushed in lava or something, so he gets like pushed off a cliff or something like that, and then he and then his foot catches on this rope. Um, and then he get, comes back up, and then I can't remember what happens then, but I just remember the song. The song was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's that uh, scene, and then Sid goes back, and it's like nothing happened because they don't even ask why he was gone. <laughs> I've put on this Brad is a child at this scene, so high. <laughs> yeah. That's probably because I was singing along to the bing bong bit. <laughs> okay, um, you, you, you love that. And then I've got dodos again in a steam maze. There was a vulture. Geysers, scraps, birds in nest with. Oh with yeah, scraps. that was it. Yeah, they, so there's a, a dodo walking across the plane, and then a geyser comes up and kills the dodo, and that's how you know what the guy. What the about. dodo death in this? Because <laughs> <That's> uh... <laughs> you know they're extinct, so it's an easy one to choose, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember dodos in three, four, or five. That's true. So, are they all fucked by the end of this? I don't know. And yet, still, they're not, they're not even in half the films, and yet they probably have the highest death count of every, anything in the, in the whole franchise. Um, two moves in. So, two moves in. What? Two, two movies in. Oh, right. Two movies in. I'm starting to like the characters, is what mm. I have. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So, so it actually has a bit of arc as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to like what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay, next. Manny went back for Ellie. Oh, in the geyser scene. Oh, yes, yeah, so we had. I, I just remember another bit that I enjoyed, just because I, I really like music scenes. This one, <laughs> a, this, it, this summary is fucked, but we're going to carry <laughs> it. It was a bit with vultures that we missed, where they start singing Food, Glorious Food. And I, I really enjoyed that bit as well. Just cause I, I just, I, music scenes in any film just, just get me going. I think that's in probably general. why I like this film the most. Just because it has all, songs. Didn't you say the soundtrack was amazing for this one compared to the other? I mean, yeah, just because it's the only one with songs. Yeah, compared <laughs> to the others. Because, like, the other yeah. ones have got pop songs randomly, haven't they? And, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, the other ones yeah. just have really random modern songs and stuff like that. Whereas this one has songs that they actually wrote 
with it. I actually know Food Glory's Food they rewrote as well. So there is actual songs that they wrote for the film. That they wrote I, for this I, movie. Yeah. They cared at this point. Ice Age 2, they still cared. Um, right, Green Dragon tries to kill Manny and yeah. Ellie. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a bit when the whole flood's coming in and everyone's going to this big arc on, on the rock. Right, so they made it to that point. Okay, yeah, right. so they're, really we are now. they're really close to the, to the arc. It's going to save them all. And then Ellie and Manny argue, I think. So Manny just wants to go through this geyser field, even though it's dangerous, and he doesn't care. And Ellie wants to go a safe way around that's longer. Um, but then actually Ellie's safe way around doesn't work, and she gets like trapped in this cave when loads of rocks fall on her. Um, and Manny just storms through and manages to survive the geysers. Um, and then they realise, where's Ellie? Oh, she's not come. So then Manny changes his mind and decides to go back and save Ellie from this cave that she's trapped in. Okay. And like, the water's filling up and... It's like, oh, Ellie. And then... Apparently there's a scrap scene at this point. <laughs> there's always a scrap scene. <laughs> I don't remember what yeah, the scrap no. scene is, so we'll just them. skip it. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, so all this happens. He saves Ellie, as you say, and then the mammoths arrive at the end, is what the next thing I've yeah. got. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I feel like I've skipped quite a lot. Yeah. It's a good job we've both got notes because there's like huge areas that we've just missed out each. <laughs> um, so I've got, I'm sorry if I, <laughs> this might be a sign that I was drinking. I, I've got, as a quote, I'm sorry if I offended a you. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. You offended uh, me? No, offended as well. No, as, it, as in the characters, it, it was a quote. Um, oh, right, I thought you said, meant, I'm sorry you offended me no, at this point. I can't remember. You said, said offended, but I've put offended it. Um, so oh, it was getting God. to that point. It was getting to that point. Um, Lord Sid. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I've really I've really just missed huge chunks in this. So it's the, yeah, so I said the plot device before. Then I've got Lord Sid, which is the bit when he's carried in on, the, yeah. <laughs> on, a, on a plank so far along ago. Then there's Dead Sid because he's chucked off a, a cliff. I mean... Then I've got Geyser Field. I've really not got into descriptives here ever. Uh, then I've got Scrap <laughs> Drowns. And that's the end of my notes. So <laughs> um... <laughs> it's literally like four lines with just random. So let's just say Scrap almost dies trying to save a nook. Yeah. Oh, probably. So, probably. As far as okay. I remember, Manny managed to get like a. It's a surprise. The amount that I forgot, even with notes on the first one, and the fact that I actually remember this one mm. without notes, I think is, you know, just says something about it already. I feel uh, like I, I, it's a good job I made quite extensive notes on the first one, because on this one, we remember a lot more. Yeah, today, yeah. But was no I didn't make time. notes on this at all. This is ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah so I think, um, so Manny manages to get his trunk around a, a log or something, which breaks out the cave block. So Ellie and Manny and everyone get to the arc um, and they all get on and then it's like <laughs> and then um, th then they all survive and then Manny and Ellie like, I guess decide to stay together or something and they see the huge herd of mammoths um, but I, I think it was something like Ellie doesn't want to go with them uh, because she, she you know, she's a possum or something I don't know <laughs> and then Manny's like actually she know, wants to fuck a possum exactly um, nothing wrong with that you know I think it's pretty improbable the fact that she can sleep from a tree being a mammoth but you know, it's Ice Age. We'll get, we'll give him some. The fact that they gave us music, I think, because we got each other or something. Like that. that is the end. Yeah. And over the next two pages, I, I put Manny and Ellie join the pack. I put. Oh, they do. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't get it wrong though. Oh, I guess they then, go with the. And then our ratings. Oh, oh, Ada was here this time. Oh, Ada, I should probably explain, is my uh, girlfriend, and she was here at this point in the background, I believe, when me and you were watching this. And she rated this a 7 out of 10, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, she wrote in capital letters. And now our ratings are, Bradley, what, do you remember what you wrote? Uh, we were both wankered, I can tell, because these I I, this isn't even a 7. This I mean, it was definitely, obviously, it was higher. I think it was a 7. Did I put 7? You put 8. 8? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've, I'd watched it and I enjoyed it. So, yeah. No, that was, that was the thing. Compared to the, I think that might have been part of it. Compared to the first one, which mm -hmm. I just found so... It's kind of like a slog for most of it, and then this one, which was fun. They had jokes. They had good, um, good like animation. They had they had music. <laughs> like I say, just gets actual me every time. soundtrack. In yeah, <laughs> yeah. I felt like 
yeah, I feel like I remember a bit of music. Maybe that was what I was saying, actually. I feel like I remember a bit of the score as well. And I was like, actually, this sounds impactful, which not, <laughs> it never does anywhere else in the Ice Age, like I say. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember it being a lot more fun, um, which I think is why I put an eight. Um, yeah, I, I think it was. It might have been trying to be Shrek 2, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, no, which is it's lot, the same sort like, of plot, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like Ice Age is a lot of trying to catch up to Shrek. Um, but I've, in my opinion, Shrek Two is the best one. Um, so it, it kind of makes sense that Shrek I say Two is my favourite too. You, yeah. you, you need the fairy godmother song. Yeah. You need that. Well, exactly. Uh, that's the thing. Shrek Two introduced you know music scenes, and this yeah. one did as well, which makes me think that they you know the kind of yeah exactly. Well, the first one is yeah. exactly the same as Shrek. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. So I'm yeah, but this one I think just because I, I preferred Shrek Two, I think I preferred this one as well because they did kind of the same enjoyable stuff in it. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I probably agree, but I, ra- I rated this a seven. I, I put a six actually, slash a seven, and Ooh. I don't know if I think this may be, it may be a six depending because I think I prefer the next one the most. Right. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers ahead. Good. Yeah. But I, I really, really enjoy book in the next one. Uh, only in the next yeah. one though, because uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> I really enjoyed book. Yeah, foreshadowing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say a six for me. So yours is an eight, mm-hmm. and mine's a six. And Ada yeah. is apparently a seven, even though I'm pretty sure she didn't watch it. So <laughs> she loved it, but yeah. she did not see it. Right. So that's our final ratings for this one. And I hope you enjoyed our um, genuinely terrible story summary. <laughs> but we'll see you in the next one. Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Here we go. Ooh. We've made it to the third one, Bradley. We've made it. Okay. Do you want me to do the summary? Are you? Uh, oh. How's your notes looking? My notes looking, uh, they're looking better than they were, but they're also incredibly detailed. So maybe you do it and I interject. Oh my God. How long does this go on for? <laughs> Look, mate. Jesus. What the fuck <laughs> am I writing? What's wrong with me? Okay. Okay. I've got okay, it I'll... opens with scrapped going yeah. through leaves. He sees, he sees uh, a lake I, scrat. I've got um, scrat, lo- scrat Loves Nuts. Um, you know, you sure one. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I haven't uh, even got that. So. <laughs> sexy, sexy Scrat. Um, sexy the scrat. female Scrat comes in. You know, it's uh, it's getting real when Scrat's got a little interest. We've really, <laughs> you know, they've really well, thought deeply about... Off, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you see that tail? Oh. <laughs> I saw <laughs> Those lips. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so scrap half gives it, yeah over okay so there's a sexy scrap and normal scrap scrap has a nut and sexy scrap wants a nut so scrap almost gives the nut to scrap that's what that, i think that's what she's called and then they like grab it and then they're both holding it and then um then i've just got scrap kills woman for nuts um yeah <laughs> i don't know i feel like i remember them jumping off a cliff I yeah, I thought like, she kills him. I thought she takes the nut and, like, goes full on, like, massive... Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that was it. Yeah, I think I wrote this before. That's it, yeah. So, Scrat kills woman for nuts. Woman leaves Scrat to die. So, I think Scrat jumps off of something mm-hmm. and then pushes her or something like... Oh, that's... I remember. Oh. Okay, go on, again. go on. Go on, go on. You can do this. Scrat does something like knocks the woman off the ledge and then he has his nut and he feels bad because he knocked sexy Scrat off the cliff. So he jumps after her and then, you know, tries to save her and they're like holding on to the nut and, and he's, he's looking in her eyes like, oh, and then she takes the nut and does a, a flying thing with her arms and then she goes away and then leaves Scrat to die and it's like, Scrat just tried to save you, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit, those uh, are strong words maybe, for us. Maybe, maybe, this is, <laughs> maybe this is the, uh, the, the second coming of the Antichrist again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scrat 8 is now the, the evil one. Maybe she's demon. the same person, but he's like morphed into a new. Morph fairy. <laughs> Morph fairy. Uh, uh, um, no, that's what I've got. That's my note. Animation ten times better. Morph. Even, even furrier. Yeah. Even the second furrier. one. That's what is going on? They're, re- they're really trying. They're pulling the boat out for this one. <laughs> on the back of the Blu-ray, that's our tagline. Even furrier. <laughs> even furrier. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that leaves Scrat to die, and then Manny has false pregnancy alarm. Okay, yeah, so Ellie's, you know, pregnant because 
her, I'm guessing her and Manny did it. Oh, wait, uh, I've, got, I've got a little note on that previous Ooh. scene. Ooh. Um, Scrat thinks with Dick. Um, Scrat emotionally blackmails Scrat. And then uh, Scrat chucks Lady off a cliff. There we go. Um, he, he tries to save her, but then she kills him. Yeah. And then the herd. Just like her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, then we cut to Manny. Manny has false pregnancy alarm, so Ellie's pregnant. Uh, okay. Manny thinks that she's giving birth or something like that. Or oh, she probably says that it hurts. I can't remember. <laughs> I know how babies work. <laughs> she probably says, oh, it's coming. So he's like, oh, my God. And then they run, and then... Um, and then it's not real, so never mind. Uh, cool slow mo on Diego catching antelope. That's it. So Diego chases an antelope. What that about was... the heart condition? Oh. Yeah, Diego's like chasing his antelope, and then it's really cool slow mo, like he's going around the corner and it's like drifting and stuff. I don't know how he drifts as a tiger, but he does. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, uh, and then yeah, he has a heart condition and gets really tired and loses the antelope and then the antelope he almost like, has a stroke if I remember yeah, correctly he's, he's just like <laughs> and then the, the antelope's just dancing in front of him and it's like okay what's going on now and you'll never know because they don't mention that <laughs> that Diego has a heart condition ever again <laughs> so he must have just been don't tired they mention it once later in this movie but then over the course of the next two films and two specials never again <laughs> yeah. there's an action sequence in the fourth one i believe where he's absolutely fine yeah oh yeah he's going like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just does loads in, in other films i, I reckon he just has bad you know bad sleep <laughs> he's it. eaten too many pork pies that's the yeah. real reason um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah so sid breaks his snow neck sid bre- what <laughs> I think Sid make a, made a snow Sid. Yeah, that, I think Sid made a snow Sid, like a snowman, yeah. and then knocks his head off because it's Sid. He's, he's funny like that sometimes. And, um... <laughs> um, and Sid breaks ice with his ugliness, so I think he looks in the mirror at ice or something and that breaks, <laughs> uh, probably. I don't actually know. Um, Sid I've got Manny is a prick, is my That's next <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 or I think... I think that might be that either. I think Manny's being mean to Sid or something for not caring about his kid, or either Sid or Diego for not caring about his kid, something like that, even though he's his unborn child. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> classic. Uh, yeah, so Sid breaks ice with his this. That's when he's looking at the floor, actually, I remember now. And the floor breaks, and then there's dino eggs under the ice. Oh, um, okay. What? Dino eggs in a dinosaur film? What's going on here? <laughs> um, yeah, so he uh, finds the dino eggs and then steals the dino eggs. Uh, and then... Oh, you forgot about the um, the scene. Is it the scene before or before he kicks him out about the unborn child in the playground that he's built? Manny creates a playground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he makes and, it look nice. He makes, yeah, he makes that little mobile and we wondered how did he yeah. wish <laughs> yeah. all little ice sculptures. Little handcrafted little mobile with little <laughs> mammoths made out of uh, like thin ice just dangling around and spinning around. <laughs> did like, do how that did he do school? that with a trunk? <laughs> <laughs> like you said before, they don't have possible thumbs. How did they <laughs> handcraft these little little ice images? Honestly, you could fucking sell that in a shop. That's yeah, a level exactly, yeah. <laughs> If I knew how to do that, I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be doing this podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Next we have um... Um, Sid drops dino wings off a cliff. That's how good of a okay. parent he is. Oh, is this down. where he chases after them and tries to catch? Them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, he drops them off a cliff so he does some like snowboarding stuff um, to try and save them. Um, yeah. Has and he, he already drawn the faces on them? Um, I think that's next. So he gets them in his little house and then he draws little faces on him. And he calls them Egbert, Shelley, and Yoko. I have not got that wrong down. <laughs> You've got the I name. Quite, I quite like that, to be honest. <laughs> Just for no reason. Just she- Shelley, Egbert, and Yoko. You get it? The the first, you get this it? is one of the first glimpses, though, that we see that um, Sid is, is a paedophile. Yeah, an egg uh, paedophile. An egg paedophile, yes. Yeah. Specifically, <laughs> yes. He likes to shove eggs up his... Um, um, in um, a place episode. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> so cute dinos. Um, oh yeah, Shadow makes Sid look pre- preg- pregnant, or preggers, but makes him look pregnant uh, because he's got an egg, and then the Shadow makes it look like he's got a belly, and it's like, wow, he's like a mother. 
um, but with less brain cells. Um, <laughs> and then Sid jerks penis for kids is what I've written on the next line. Sid jerks penis for kids. Uh, <laughs> hey, explain that scene. I can't remember this. Yeah, it's because he, go, he goes up to this, um, there's like a ramp, um, and he, he goes to get some milk for the kids. Because, because, what kind know, of milk, Bradley? <laughs> and he goes to like squeeze, you know, I don't know what, what the others of the, the cow yak thing, and it turns out it's a guy. <laughs> and, and so, obviously, you know, because it doesn't have others, it, it, it actually means so that you're telling me within an Ice Age movie, it tosses off. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Um, I so don't remember yeah, this. Awesome. When did this happen? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember it. I, I no. Just... <laughs> Are you sure this isn't in your yeah. head? Oh no, see... yeah, I, re- I remember this like straight up. I remember seeing this <laughs> in cinema and, re- and thinking about this when I was like ten. <laughs> oh, I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> and it changed the whole course of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, so you don't get milk, and then Dino eats little Johnny. Oh yeah, so they have the Sid takes the dinosaur babies to the um, to the park that Manny made for his kid and then they just go psycho because the dinosaurs um, and break things and eat children and you know just normal dinosaur things really what you what you'd normally do when you get excited when you go to a fight can't blame them uh, they ate children and destroyed everything um, <laughs> so that a, a dino eats little Johnny um, I don't know if you got that or not I think I remember chatting about little Johnny <laughs> oh no uh, little Johnny um, was eaten by a t-rex just randomly um, yeah, yeah, maybe too. Yeah. Yeah. He seriously just eats a kid, and we're both there <laughs> watching this movie like, okay. <laughs> and uh, they've just killed and a then, child. And then he vomits up the child or something and tells him off. Coming uh, in stomach acid. That's how it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just chewed him up. In a... <laughs> um, yes, then Mummy Dinosaur comes back. Okay. Ooh, twist. Oh, big twist. Here. Yeah, and takes the little eggs and Sid because he's stood next to the eggs, so he gets caught in her mouth or something. Um, so she's carrying Sid and little eggs. And then everyone's like, oh my God, they got Sid and little eggs. Let's go find Sid and little eggs. <laughs> so this is the plot summary. Let's go find yeah. Sid and little eggs. Yeah. Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaur. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on the blurb of the, the DVD <laughs> case. <laughs> um, yeah, so they've got to go follow the dinosaur, um, okay. which takes them back into the little crack thing that they, that Sid broke earlier, uh, where he found the eggs. Um, and that leads them to the big jungle thing that's under the ice. It doesn't really make any sense because it's really sunny under there, but they're in an ice age under the ground, and it's sunny, and there's trees. Um... That entire <laughs> area doesn't make sense. Like, one before... There was cracks. How was that oxygen? Because there was that gas. <laughs> um, I mean, the trees actually produce oxygen, don't they? But I don't think Ice Age is meant to be looked into this deep. <laughs> um, <laughs> but join us next time when I have my whiteboard pen. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Scientifically. <laughs> uh, scientifically break down Ice Age <laughs> and this universe. Um, then we get to possibly the greatest character in the whole of uh, the whole I of Ice Age, Buckminster. But he gets ruined later. But he's great. Yeah, yeah but he's for, for now he's great. Um, great. Buckminster, played by Simon Pegg. Um, <laughs> of course, it's great because it's Simon Pegg. But also, when we googled this after we watched this, we've realised that there's going to be a Disney Plus series starring Buck, apparently. I mean, oh, when that. when we get to that on Schmalt Schmalt yeah. episode seventy five. <laughs> We'll, oh we'll review the book standalone show, you know? But that, that might be a bit much. Like... <laughs> I feel like I've, you know, I've been slowly killing myself by watching seven <laughs> Ice Age films. I mean, I if I'm ready for that. it got to an all-time low in that fucking Easter special, but we'll get to that. <laughs> All right, so um, Buckminster, little weasel, played by Simon Pegg. Uh, turns out Rudy took it. I, oh yeah, so we've got an eye patch, um, yeah. and it's because this big black dinosaur demon thing um, took his oh, eye. Amazing before. sequence though when he explains this, it. Uh, um, it's where he explains it or not? The amazing animation. Oh no, that's later on. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, but he just says the big dinosaur that's you know scary took mm. his eye, and now he's got the dinosaur's tooth as a, a little little. But he's he's like a Cockney Jason Statham character. 
That's um, that's what I wrote okay. down. <laughs> All right. Um, that's enough. what I put down apparently. <laughs> when when I was pissed, but oh, that's what I put down. Um, I mean, I think I get where I'm coming from, but I think I mean he's like the typical. He's just cool when he hero. saves everyone, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. There's nothing bad about him. He has an amazing action sequence near the end. Mm. Um, he's, he's just he's just a fun guy. Um. <laughs> I love that uh, I'm saying amazing action sequence. This is a fucking Ice Age. This is Ice Age, yeah. It's not... And like, oh yeah, it's the best. Go oh, watch this age. over Mission Impossible. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, Venus Mammoth Trap with red and blue wire. So they start making the way to find Sid and the baby eggs. And then there's a big Venus fly trap, like out of Little Shop of Horrors, um, that just eats Sid and Mam- Manny. Um, and they're like, oh my god, what do we do? And then... Uh, Thanks to Buck, they realise that there's a little red and blue wire. That <laughs> that's what a living plant has a little red and blue wire, and it's like, which wire oh, do we need no, to cut? I remember this. So then, Even more. Yeah. Would, would the <laughs> hero reference? Yeah, so Buck yeah. does a cool little, like, synchronised dancing, swimming thing, and just dives in the middle of the Venus flytrap, and then gets his little blade, and like, yeah. and then manages to cut him free uh, by cutting the red wire. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> um, oh god. It's like all three. Of this it just sounds worse than I remember. <laughs> no, um, but I this, this I like this one if I remember correctly. Yeah, but no, this, this sounds is fucking one. awful. Yeah, does it? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, journey through big smelly crack. Um, <laughs> uh, they go through a big cavern thing which has laughing gas in it, uh, and all the all Ellie gets to the end obviously because Ellie always does, and then all the guys get stuck in the laughing gas. And they start laughing, and it's really weird and psychotic. And <laughs> just go through this really strange drug episode where they start laughing about everything, uh, really hysterically. Um, and then Buck comes to save him, and he does. Um, and then, so they get out, and then Buck's still hanging on the rope in the middle, and they just leave him. And it's like Buck just saved them from dying from laughing. Well, they leave him to die, and then they leave Buck in the cavern to die. From they know though. They know the sort of credibility that he has as a better character, and they're like, "We need to <laughs> yeah. kill him all." Stop overshadowing us. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's just like, "This is my show, Sonny Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <back>. a prick." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No one likes Sid. <laughs> um, yeah. So then, uh, then we have the animated splashback. Um, Oh no, Sid throws an, a live animal off a cliff. Um, <laughs> Sid throws a live animal off a cliff. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what that yeah. was. Um, the bird. That was it, the bird. He, get, he gets a bird that the dinosaurs want to eat, and then he's trying to, Sid's trying to teach the dino babies to eat vegetarian. So he gets them some broccoli and stuff. And then he tells, you know, he's like, the bird, be free, fly. And he throws it off a cliff and it can't fly. So he just kills a bird. He just bird. kills a bird again. <laughs> Um, plastic Ice Age yeah, murdering. Fuck it. I know, Jesus murder. Christ. Like, so, they had, there's some brutal shit in this, isn't there? It's like, <laughs> probably, like yeah. it's like fucking worse than Saw in places. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there's just so many deaths that are meant to be funny, and when you think about it, like, our main characters have murdered more than anyone else, in, <laughs> like, like, than all the bad guys. And <laughs> it's um, worse than Last of Us 2. Um, so... um, yeah. Um, but yeah. So then we've got the great, the great animated flashback when Buck talks, tells the story about how he lost his eye. He goes into more detail, and it's like this, it's this incredible animated scene where it's like I feel like it. You know, if it had been done like anime or something, it would it would have looked just as good because it was it was just this thing like he's, he's in the rain and you yeah. know there's this dinosaur and all you see is the red eyes. And he's running through the forest, and there's just rain coming down. And he's got his his little sword, and then and then Rudy like cuts his eye, and he's just there, just like. <gasps> and then you, you look up, and everything's dark, and he's like, "Oh my god, where is it?" And then he climbs this tree, this like mile high tree above the clouds, and then he's just stood there on this tree on his own with his with his little di- and the, with his little knife. And then Rudy comes up out of the like through the clouds, and you just see a red eyes, and it's like this cloud dragon thing. <laughs> it looks like. And he's, he's just there with his little knife, just like, and he just looks so cool with all the red and the colours and um, yeah, and how somehow. Wait, uh, it, is it his little knife though? Is it? I think it's like a sharpened stick, isn't it? Because he uses yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. Cut the claw that he uses as yeah. So he, um, 
yeah, it's something like that. He gets something sharp and then manages to cut the tooth out, but then Rudy takes his eye at the same time on top of this tree. Um, but it's just, oh, yeah, it's one of the, it's one of those scenes that you, you just, you just think, oh you my god, that's nice. That, that was like nice stage film. Yeah, that was. That, I enjoyed that. I, I feel that, like I feel like our expectations have gone really low. Yeah. Like yeah. replacing this <laughs> one that, scene, yeah. we're like, yeah, this is amazing, but yeah. because there's so much crap around it. Yeah. Literally, uh, like the, the anime scene in like Kill Bill or something is like so much better than this. But just because this is in Ice Age, you're just like, it's, it's wow, quality. the colours, the, the the drama. It was it was actually really. No one cared but, for five yeah. minutes and yeah. twenty three seconds. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, this is definitely <laughs> the best scene of Ice Age in my opinion. I just really enjoyed that bit. I, that's my favourite scene in the entirety of Ice Age. Actually, after watching it all. So this film's doing quite well, minus the red and blue wire. Yeah. Um, let's see if that, if that happens. <laughs> um, yeah, so great flashback. Bookshop and clamped to T-Rex to T-Rich. Oh, yeah, that's so He told the story about how he, uh, how, he, uh, how he lost his eye and took Rudy's tooth. And then his next story is that he sharpened a clamp. Oh, no, he was like, he, yeah, he was like, I could tell you a story about how I sharpened a clamp to turn a T-Rex into a T-Rachel, but I won't go into that now. So what he's literally saying is he circumcised the dinosaur with a clamp. Not circumcised, <laughs> um, castrated. <laughs> circumcised is <laughs> just like book. All right, <laughs> calm down, mate. You're doing all right so far, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So then we leave that and scrap or back to oh, scrap. Oh, lady scrap. And, is back. Yeah, back to lady scrap. Um, and they're both fighting over the nut again because scrap finds lady scrap. And they have this little tango battle um, where they like link up arms and they're, they're dancing around in a circle trying to pull the nut from each other. Um, don't read into that. And, <laughs> and uh, Lady, so they're just doing this. Scratch little tries to pull the nut from. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> but obviously, you know, tango is a very uh, emotional, expressive dance. Um, so Scrat and Scratet um, get quite intimate. Um, not too intimate because it's a kid's film. <laughs> and um wait we it, just talked about a chicken being like killed <laughs> being <laughs> castrated uh, <laughs> so um yeah and then so scratch drops the note and i think they kiss or something and mm. scratch scratch it um and then they fall in love and it's like oh and scrat leaves the note and it's like oh my god scratch's overcome his love his lust for nuts <laughs> but <laughs> <And> instead <laughs> He said, wait a minute, he's overcome his lust for nuts and now <laughs> a woman. Yeah. Um, uh, that, that speaks for itself. Yeah. So I, I, <laughs> we do not contone the opinions of Ice Age. Or yeah. <laughs> Ice Age was, uh, it's a very backwards movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, but... it's like it's all that we call it. <laughs> um, um, so then we get, Mrs. Book is a pineapple. So uh, I don't remember that, but apparently Book has a, a, a lady friend who's a pineapple. Oh, I don't that. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, he talks to it, and he says he's like, it's like his romantic. He's like, oh, sh- uh, hello, sweet cheeks, or something. <laughs> no, he does. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> sweet cheeks. No. They're like cut like, ears. Sweet cheeks. I'll do the question. All right, sweet cheeks. Yeah. This is my favourite pineapple. Actually, that does quite sound like him, doesn't it? I, know, I, can, I can see that now, yeah. Now you've done that. that I can see that. Pineapple. We've got a relationship, we do. <laughs> For years. <laughs> there you go. Get me, on, get me an Ice Age yeah. 6. <laughs> yeah, you can play Buck in the series now that you can't <laughs> afford to, to get Simon Pegg. Mm. <laughs> cheaper, I'm just saying. <laughs> and Simon Pegg. <laughs> Um, yeah, so female pineapple. Um, back to Scrat again. I don't know if you had anything between that because I've just gone straight back to Scrat again. I've got right. So I've got Scrat. Um... Scrat tries to save himself. A woman and slams her face into rock. He uses her face to climb climb up. You use her teeth as like a grappling. 
No, he oh, used, it's yeah. like, yeah, like a hook yeah, thing. Like he <laughs> yeah, I can head into a rock. He yeah, just slams her face <laughs> into a rock cliff just to climb. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, you saved me. And we're yeah. there like, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> and then they fall in love, don't they? Yeah, After that, that, that was it. That was it, yeah. yeah that was it. Sorry, I keep forgetting, yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> so he slams her face into a wall. And then they fall in love because they apparently the way, saved her. Again, we don't condone anything that I do. <laughs> um, we hope that. You... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I've got. Scrap I've got pushes nut away for girl. Um, I've got this, Rudy this after Sid. Well, um, um, I think possibly. that's after this then, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, um, this is the last I've got, actually. I don't have any of the climax. Um, I've got Scrap, so Scrap pushes not away for girl. Um, they get romantic. They get in a little, they get a little house um, in a tree. I can't remember whether this is now or it later on, but this is just what I remember from Scrap stuff because I don't have any notes anymore. <laughs> um, so they live in a little tree, and Scrat it, classic, uh, just wants him to move a settee, so he pushes the settee, and then she's like, no, I want it over there. She pushes the settee, and he's like, no, actually, I want it over there. Um, so Scrat just has to keep pushing the settee and he's like, actually, I don't love her because she makes me push her settee. Um, and he sees, he sees the nut outside, the lonely nut, just on the cliff outside. Isn't the nut, like, following them, though, through all this? Isn't there, like, yeah. a oh, you're right. yeah, nut? It's like a montage it's a sentient thing. sentient nut. Yeah, of the little, the little lonely nut, just, like, in the corner whilst they're dancing and kissing and stuff and getting married. And this look, nut's just in the corner getting rained on. <laughs> That was actually quite funny. It's yeah. a sentient right. note. So yeah. what, it's a lie. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so, Wait, yeah, no, the, the real villain then of this series is the nut. The nut, because... yeah. <laughs> he causes everything. He causes all the cracks, the collapses, all the meteor showers, all the everything that goes wrong is caused by the nut. <laughs> <laughs> and he prevents Scrat from finding true love. He's just the nut. What if the true love is the nut? <laughs> 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 I, I don't know don't what that this film is promoting. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go fast through my notes then, if yeah, you don't okay. mind. Yeah, okay. so the, 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 he, he moves out of his house, he doesn't like the woman, and then he sees the, the clingy nut outside, so he goes back to the nut, and then they start fighting again. And that's what I've got up to. Um, yeah, slave driver wife drives him to nuts again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I've got for the film. So Okay, uh, next I've got um, Rudy after Sid. Um, that's the big dinosaur that has the kids, yeah, right? Big... Okay. Um, book and oh, wait, possum. I think that's the big black one. Oh, it's the bit. It's the bad one. So, yeah. for some reason, Rudy's about to kill Sid now. Uh, we've probably skipped like five scenes. Yeah. But... <laughs> that's um, it. Yes. Maybe the <laughs> fuck cares. We just want to get to the end of this. Um, book and possums go after Sid in that amazing pterodactyl. Like, yeah, it's little flying. Yeah, it's like it's like fucking out of World War II or something. Yeah. Like, there's even plane noises, wasn't there? Yeah, I said yeah, to you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, um, and, then the, and then the pterodactyl's like falling because it's knocked out, yeah. and is it book or something riding it, or the possums? Yeah. And they're trying to slap it before he lands in the lava, and then they pull him up, and he just like swerves up, and it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Um, and then whilst Manny and Diego deliver the baby. Um, yeah. Escapes Rudy really? on lava block. Oh, um, is it? Who is it that escapes Rudy on a lava block? Then is it? Is it? Is it? Um, Sid. It must be Sid. Um, book rides pterodactyl. To Sid. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Rides yeah. pterodactyl. To save Sid. Um, Diego. What a dramatic heart scene. Attack. Oh, Diego has another heart attack whilst uh, oh, okay. running. While trying to save Manny from the weird. Whatever the fuck they are, um, yeah, raptors things. Yeah. Um, it's it's just a a contraction. <laughs> Ellie's giving birth, and then oh yeah, and Diego oh. thinks it's, it's like oh it's probably just a contraction again, but she's actually giving birth this time. Um, In nice. middle of action scene on pterodactyl, awesome by the way. Oh, so it just cuts back to them. I'm saying yeah, how shit it is. A lot of drama um, thing whilst yeah. Ellie's giving birth. <laughs> Scrap gets um, wanked off. I swear to God, I wrote Scrap gets wanked off. <laughs> um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised in Ice Age. It's just. <laughs> no, just. That happened. Um, 
the the people chasing then just that's, um, that's just then, it. <laughs> and, oh, oh, yeah, no, they pull up from the lava. That what you you were on about yeah, yeah. where it out. They pull up and they pull up the lava, and all the pterodactyls just fly directly into the into lava the, thing. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. die. They'll just die. And it's <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. um, right. So Peach is the baby. So he's born. They yeah. call it Peaches. Such That's an amazing it, but... character from here on in. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> um, after Manny and Diego defend successfully. So they kill all the Velociraptors then. Um, then the Nut observes Scrat. Oh, no, that's the Scrat love affair now. Oh, the there nut- we go. Yeah, so that all comes in here. Best song. Oh, they do Alone Again, but like with a Nut. Like they change the lyrics of Alone Again. So it's like, it's like, I'm a little nut alone. Na, 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 na. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, yeah. Nut. 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 Rip off of Shrek. Oh yeah, because the instead of the dragon saving them, it is the dinosaur. dinosaur. It's exactly right, the yeah. same. mummy dinosaur. Yeah. Each slash book. Book goes back to kill Rudy. Apparently. Oh yeah, he leaves them all because they they they've got Sid now, so they start leaving. Oh yeah. Out of the ice, and then books book his Rudy raw, and he's like. <gasps> My destiny. Like, <laughs> so he runs back in. The bridge, doesn't he? he? Cuts the road. Yeah, and just yeah. Cuts the bridge, yeah, and it all collapses, and it was like, what's the point of that? That was a waste of a bridge. <laughs> and I'm like, but... oh, we need to bring yeah. him back. He was the best character. Yeah. Um, Diego um, and Buck romance. Oh yeah. When they're walking out, it's like kind of gay, like in a good way. <laughs> like they're both there, like, hey, you know, like they're talking. We're thinking yeah, they're yeah. gonna get it off, and then he goes back for Rudy instead. <laughs> Like, oh, that would have been great. Diego and Buck. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, because fucking Diego ends up with that. Well, never mind. But at some point, <laughs> he ends up yeah. with someone very boring. Can you imagine yeah. a Diego and Buck? Diego Book? and Buck. That would have been. That's that a theory that would have liked. <laughs> <laughs> um, Diego almost killed as Buck takes faster route. Um, Oh, yeah, because he, he cuts the bridge and it all collapses, and it's like, oh, yeah, and they've not even got a cross, and it's like, why would Buck do that? Like, <laughs> a prick. Like, why would he just destroy the bridge whilst they're on it? At least wait for him, or don't destroy the bridge. <laughs> you know, it's easy options. <laughs> um, and then cut to Scrat as he moves in... As he moves in stone sofa. Oh, that's oh, now. Yeah, I just remember. I, I just Dude, remember. Lovely, you're all. putting a head I didn't in. Write notes. I just remembered it all. Um, um, <laughs> and then he sees the nut outside, and they run to each other. Apparently, the nut rolls to him. <laughs> Sentient nut um, gets caught by lady squirrel. Scrap loses nut again. I think the lady squirrel like kicks the nut off something and kills oh, yeah. the nut. Right, and that's the end. Apparently, of Ice Age oh. three. Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Scrat left Scrat yeah. out because she doesn't come in at any other films ever. So, well, no, she, <laughs> well she's one in, she's of Scrat's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe not her, just the same character. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> <Just a female. laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so your score, do you remember what it is? I think it was a seven. Boom. I remember yes. right. Yeah, because it was. I remember really enjoying it, and that 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 dinosaur scene where Bucks in like the rain just. I don't, I don't know why, but I just loved that so much. I was actually on the edge of my seat for some reason. <laughs> um, I was like proper tense, like, oh my God, this is really action packed. But that really made the feel for me. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Not, not, just not as much as Ice Age 2 because that has songs. But, <laughs> um, but this was a, I did enjoy this one. It was quite fun. There was good scenes and a couple of funny jokes. Um, yeah, I, I'd that, say so because mine was eight out of ten because I think for an Ice Age film, it's yeah, the best definitely. one. Yeah, uh, for me it was the best one because it had okay. Book at its best before the. Mm, yeah. <sighs> um, and yeah, but... it also, also the characters were at the best. I'd say apart from Manny, who was an absolute prick in this. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he still goes and saves Sid, but to begin with, at the beginning, he's, yeah, a, he's a bit it's just mean to everyone. Um, yeah, apart from him, you know, he's he has some great whittling skills of ice. He's amazing with his trunk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, not in that way. Um, uh, you can find that on the internet, but not in this movie. Um, uh, so I think that wraps up our first three Ice Age movies. Uh, next time on Schmaltz. Schmaltz. Um, God, what a word. Um, <laughs> we are going to do um, Ice Age 4 and 5 and also the two specials. Now, as it stands, for me, the best Ice Age movie is Ice Age 3, followed by Ice Age 2, and then Ice Age 1. And for Bradley? Uh, Ice Age 2, top. Ice Age 3, behind that. After that, that's a tough one. Um, I think I'd say 4. I did quite enjoy 4, actually. Wait, even no, though we, I just did the first three. We oh, haven't got oh, there wait, yet. Oh, oh <laughs> rank them out of these ones. Okay. Bradley, spoilers, <laughs> um, man! Well, then, now uh, <laughs> with that, then... Uh, I think you can figure out which one's my third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's four. What? Actually, I think it was the Easter Excapade. That, that's my that was my favourite Ice Age film. No, actually, I'm pretty surprised where that lands on my list. Um, <laughs> okay, no, yeah, it was definitely it was two, three, one. It was, it was my ranking of those three. Three, two, one. So we'll see you next time on Schmalt. And bye. Um, bye. See ya. I can stop with. <laughs>